Gypsy is a not-for-profit um, economic research organization. We do policy research um, largely for government. And we've been around for almost 20 years now supporting the new democratic government in South Africa with trade and industrial policy type research. Um, and we have organized this conference um, around the themes of um, regional integration and um, regional industrialization and regional value chains. Um, these are very, very relevant at the moment um, for the South African government, and we um, felt that um, this type of academic conference would give um, uh, some support to the policymakers who are attending um, this forum. The region's important South, because South Africa is involved in a number of regional collaborative processes um, through um, the, the TFTA, um, sorry, the Tripart Free Trade Agreement, and now there's talk about an Africa-wide um, agreement on free trade. And these, these processes um, are slowly materializing, and it requires a a rethink in terms of policy terms of how does South Africa, which has been fairly insular, even in the democratic period, um, has been fairly isolated um, from the economic um, trade with its neighbors. So it's grown in recent years, but it's nowhere near um, what other regions do in terms of um, interregional trade. So the, the legacy of apartheid still lives with us. And even in terms of um, bilateral institutions and how we interface um, in terms of infrastructure and border posts, all of those things aren't um, at the level at which they should be. So with South African government really looking at these things in a lot more closer detail, um, it, it helps to have the research community um, supporting um, the, the, the need for policy change and policy direction and how to rethink because there's no easy answers um, in some of these things. There's, there's been different models that have been used in different regions. Some have worked, um, some have not worked. We see Greece um, as, as one of the casualties um, of some of the, the outcomes of regional collaboration that hasn't necessarily worked out. Um, and we, we, at a point where going down this road, let's, the South African government is saying, let's learn from what's going else on elsewhere. Let's look at what's going on in industry. Let's look at the different ideas that are out there. And let's look at how these things um, are playing out on the ground. And that's where research becomes very useful. It's a closed session where people are able to engage and hear the issues in a non-confrontational en environment. So it's a nice space. And um, what, what it allows for is fairly frank discussion. And also it's an opportunity for academics who've been doing research, who don't normally get heard by the policymakers um, or who want an audience with policymakers to present their work um, for policymakers to hear a different perspective or to um, see the detailed research that's been taking place. So it does provide a, a research outlet um, for academics, and which is why I think we've got quite a good response um, from academics to come through for the conference. Um, well, it's helped at a number of levels. Um, so we've um, got a number of very good papers um, from the UNU wider network. People who are researching very relevant issues um, have come through for the conference and have been supported by UNU wider to come through. Um, UNU wider have also helped out with um, funding support um, for the conference. Um, and you know, in South Africa, it doesn't quite get a lot of donor funding anymore. So um, we, we have to run these things on a project-by-project project basis. And with the support of UNU wider, we've been able to actually host the conference. Um, and with one or two other sponsors, we've been able to make sure that the conference um, is a success. And we've been able to bring out a whole range of people who are interested in presenting their work. Mm -hmm.